Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to capture tap gesture events in SwiftUI. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift on Tips. In SwiftUI, there are supported five types of gestures. Drag gesture, rotation gesture, magnification gesture, long press gesture, and tap gesture. Let's analyze the last one in detail. I think this is the simplest gesture in iOS, and capturing this event in SwiftUI is even easier. Let's implement all the different ways to do a tap gesture in SwiftUI in the following demo. We have a red circle view. Let's change its color to blue when we tap it. Now the question is, how to do that? The simplest form of tapping is by using on tap gesture modifier. With this modifier, we can call whatever action you decide. In this case, we are toggling the boolean state is tapped and that changed the color. This is cool for just a single tap, but what is cool is that you can support multiple taps to only trigger the action after n numbers of simultaneous taps. As you can see, Every four simultaneous taps, I change the color to the next state. You need to be quick, otherwise the counter will reset to zero. And there's no way to change the time between taps. As we saw earlier, this modifier is the most basic form of tapping. And most of the time, this is what you need to do the job. But here is another way to do it. Let's now configure a tap gesture object. First, let's call gesture modifier below frame. Now create a new tap gesture. You will see that it has two initializers, a default that will react to a single tap and another one that you can configure for n numbers of taps simultaneously. Let's try the first one. Just adding the gesture won't invoke anything. We have to use the events provided by tap gesture to mutate the views state. Let's see the tap gesture states. This gesture in particular has only two events, unended that will detect when tap finished and updating that will track the progress of your gesture state. But hold on about the second, I will tell you something in just a moment. Let's first see unended. Unlike other gestures, this tap gesture state didn't provide anything. This is just an empty tuple and makes sense because this event is pretty simple. It's just checking if you tap the screen or not. Actually, we can omit it. Now here we can simple toggle our state to change the color and that's all. Now what about updating event? Here we will require a special property wrapper gesture state that will track the progress of your gesture state. Again, this gesture is super simple and doesn't require a continuous tracking like long press or track gesture. It's provided by the API through gesture protocol, but the closure doesn't provide any extra information. Again, it's reporting an empty tuple. For this particular gesture, there's no point to use updating. If you have used other gestures before, you may remember that there is another event called unchanged. Why is it not here? The short answer is that this event is only for gestures producing a continuous event like long press or drag gestures. Tap event, again, is a single state event, is tapped or not. But if you are curious like me, let's see the definition of unended versus unchanged. In technical words, we don't have a variable unchanged because the tap gesture value is not supporting equitable protocol. We use equitable to compare objects, and for gestures with continuous event, we need to compare what was the previous state to report a change if they are different. For the case of tap, we don't need that. It's that simple. I will leave you more information about word clauses to constraint types in the description and in the card appearing in your screen. Lastly, let's review the second initializer of tap gesture to set n numbers of taps. Let's set 3 has the number of taps required to trigger the event.
you cannot manage the time between taps again. You need to be fast. Multiple taps in a short period of time. And finally, you don't need to create a gesture on the go. If you prefer, you can inject the gesture from another function or parameter. Let's create a computer property. In this way, you can keep your view cleaner. Remember that you can watch the whole series of gesture in this playlist here. That's all for me, everyone. Thank you so much and have a great day. I wonder how many of you are still here. But if you reach the end of the video, I would recommend you this book. The Obstacle is the Way. It's a great book if you want to convert your obstacles in opportunities.